Hey, it's David. Welcome back to Orangeville Daily Homes. So things have been pretty crazy in our spring market, and that's why you kind of haven't seen me with the videos, because honestly, it has been nonstop from morning to night. So trying to get the videos out has been, let's just say, a little bit of a challenge. So obviously it, uh, it hasn't worked, but it slowed down a little bit um, enough for me to, you know, hopefully start getting the videos out again to you. So if you're, it may not be the fastest way to get information, but at least I'm able to give you information and you can kind of dissect what it is that I'm, I'm talking about with all the properties. If you want to get faster information, you can just let me know, reach out, send me an email, say, David, look, this is what we're looking for. And I can set you up in our system so that way you get an email um, every day uh, when properties match what it is that you're looking for. That way you don't have to scroll through and check out to see what's new and, um, in MLS and, and kind of surf through all that. Uh, also, we get our listings before it, um, it even gets out to MLS. So there may be a, a, a two-day turnaround uh, before you even get to see the property. So um, yeah, if, if that's what you're interested for, you know, interested in, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll kind of set that up in the system. But let's start with our first one today. We've got, uh, I think, 18 properties that we're gonna quickly gonna go through here. Uh, the first one is 11 Feltry, and this is in Orangeville. It's 339, and this is a semi-detached uh, home, right? So it, it, the place has a, a, a finished walkout, and it looks out, looks nice on the outside, um, and it looks like, by the looks of it, it looks like uh, you know the cabinets are painted. Um, a little bit more of a galley style kitchen when you kind of first walk in there. All right, so again, you got the front living room, hardwood flooring. You know, this is going to be indicative of what's going on in the marketplace right now. Okay, so 339 is pretty much where semis are, are, are starting to go at. They range anywhere from like three, well, 299 up to about 340. That's what we're starting to see. Okay, uh, there is a park back here, which is really nice. And uh, and yeah, so I, I don't think that, uh, you know, they're out to lunch on, on the price. I think they're doing, you know, they're going to do just fine. Uh, next one is 78 Dawson, and it's uh, 349. Now, this is a detached home, right? So this is 349. So for $10,000 more, now you're into a uh, detached home. Now, it is on a busier street. Uh, than the, the previous one. Inside looks really nice. A lot of natural light that kind of comes in. It's an L-shaped living room, dining room. Kitchen's off to the back. Looks like there's a door that goes to the backyard. Very nice. They've done a, a great job. Uh, kitchen, again, it's kind of like a galley at, at the back of the property. Stainless steel appliances. Very nice. I, uh, I, I like this. Uh, they actually even listed their... Uh, their costs with regards to hydro and gas. So you're about 175 on on hydro and gas, you're about 120 a month. 315, this is in uh, Grand Valley, 369. Seemed pretty good, you know, 369 out in the valley. I don't see any reason why um, why they wouldn't be able to get this. It's a dead end street, uh, which is Fife, which is really nice. Uh, no pictures on the inside. It just makes me start to ask a lot of questions, you know, about the kind of condition of the inside. Like, what am I, what am I getting myself into? Apparently, they've updated the kitchen and some flooring, and cabinets, and things of that nature. But uh, again, uh, pictures, you know, I would need to see. Now it says that it's a, a two-car garage. Now I don't know if that's a two-car. It doesn't look like it. Looks like a one-car. I could be wrong, but it is what it is, right? 264 Berry Street, 379, and this is a bungalow in uh, Shelburne. It's a smaller bungalow. It's not very large. Uh, the basement's not finished. Uh, the pictures are very hard to, to really get a grip of what's what's there, but basically this picture is your, your front entrance way. You walk in, you've got this living room, and then you've got this hallway that kind of comes back down. The, you're still walking down the hallway. Yeah, I apologize on these pictures. I mean, it's not my listing, but I'm I'm, I'm making apologies just because it uh, it's hard to really see. Okay, so turning around, 
This is when you first walk in. This is what you're looking at. You've got this hallway, the kitchen's over here. You've got your bedrooms over to the left. Okay, and then you've got the, the stairs that goes down into the basement. And then there's your kitchen. Um, again, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, things are, you know, off the property. Uh, you know, the countertops are clean. Things are off the refrigerator, things like that. Um, and that's your basement. Again, hard to see anything on this one. Uh, nine foot ceilings. But, uh, yeah. 641 Canfield Place. This is 400,000. And uh, there is a, a, a two car garage just on the side there. Finished basement in this one. Front entrance way when you walk in. To the left, you've got the, the living room, dining room, hardwood flooring, which is really nice. They got bay windows, uh, updated kitchen in there. It looks very nice. Eden kitchen on top of that. Uh, living room. Uh, this place looks really nice on all levels. And you know what, at, at 400, I think they're gonna do just fine. You got a finished basement in there as well, a good sized deck, great neighborhood. You know, I'm a fan of this one. I think they'll do just fine. 107 Jordan, uh, 489, this is a two story in Orangeville. Inside looks really nice as well. Uh, now, this space here, uh, I'm trying to look at the flooring type, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of confused because it says that this one has hardwood flooring in the living room, but I'm looking in here and it doesn't, it doesn't look like hardwood flooring to me. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but it's just uh, thoughts. Stainless steel appliances, it looks like a little bit of a wall has been knocked out, kind of open it up. Um, a little kind of uh, seating area across the top here, very nice. You know, this is... Uh, you know, it's it's nice for for where this property is. It's good. It's up by the hospital. Um, fireplace there. I don't know how much use you'd get of it of that since that's the dining room. But uh, I mean, it looks like they've done all the, the the recent renos that needed to be done. It looks pretty cool inside. Mm, mm, pretty nice. So again, I'm a I'm a fan of the inside. That's just the neighborhood is, I guess, the question that you have to ask. There's not a lot of space between the houses, right? 15th Side Road. Uh, sorry, there's no photos on this one either. $4.99. Uh, hardwood flooring throughout. It's on two acres. It's close to Orangeville. Um, it's all being painted and, and whatnot. Offers are being presented on May 24th at 8 p.m., so uh, wait for the pictures. Uh, you're going to have to click on the link uh, down below there, and hopefully they will update them. Uh, 240 Lisa Marie, 500,000. This place here uh, probably needs a little bit of work, just based on uh, the, the photos I've looked at there. Uh, it is a walkout. It is all brick, uh, which is really nice. There's more outside pictures than, uh, than there are on the inside. So that uh, that tells you a little bit about what's uh, what may be going on, right? <clears throat> but um, but yeah, twelve Benjamin five nineteen. I think they priced this one pretty well uh, for what's there. Uh, you walk in, it is a, a bungalow, a bungalow loft, right? So you bungalow, and then you've got this loft space up on the the upper floor. Living room hardwood flooring, uh, tiles in the kitchen, uh, nice big open bright. And uh, that just looks like such the smallest bed in that big, huge room. <laughs> you know, 519, what is it? I mean, it seems like it's a really nice place. Little gazebo back there as well. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I like this one. I do. Next is uh, number 10, Salem. Uh, court 529 on this one, uh, two car garage, obviously. There's your front, that's what it looks like looking out the door of your property. Uh, front hall entrance there, uh, hardwood flooring, uh, kind of kitchen. Uh, it, like I said, it is a bungalow, it is on a cul de sac, there is nine foot ceilings, and um, but yeah, I mean. Outside looks pretty good. Pictures may, you know, 
a little bit all over the place. It's kind of hard to get a real good idea of what's going on on the inside, but again, I don't think that's going to sit around too long. And, I, and this one here, seven sacks, and uh, this isn't going to sit around 549. This is, well, it, it's beautiful. There is a walkout. I don't know how much more of a, uh, a dip it goes down for the backyard, but that's the thing with all walkouts, right? You're going to get that in the backyard. Uh, deck there, nice front entrance when you, when you walk in. Beautiful kitchen. Absolutely stunning stainless steel appliances, pendant lights, pot lights, granite countertops, breakfast bar. I mean, these are all the things that, that you know, pull on my heartstrings when uh, when you look at a property, right? Very nice. Got a down uh, further on into the uh, living room. You've got a fireplace back there as well. It's kind of open to above looking down into the, into the dining room. Uh, the wainscoting that they've gone ahead and put in. The attention to detail is beautiful and the neighborhood is great as well. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Downstairs. Nice and big. Right. And there's your park. I, again, I'm a fan. It's new. It uh, looks pretty, pretty darn nice. Uh, 17 Lloyd Travis Court. Now, that's an aerial shot obviously, of, uh, of the neighborhood of where this property is. And there's the property there. Big, long driveway. There is no garage. There's more outside pictures than there's going to be on the inside. And this is 45 steps away from Manfield, Manfield, Manfield Ski Club. And this is what the, I mean, this is, a, this is your chalet, right? So this is how this property would be most utilized, is more for a chalet than anything else. Um, I'm, well, again, then again, I mean, you could live there year-round if you want to, but I've just seen a lot of people and they, they use it for, for, uh, for when they come up and go skiing. So next is, uh, County Road 19. This is in Mulmer, uh, 564. It's on about one acre and, um, inside, uh, obviously we've got our kitchen, we've got hardwood flooring, or actually laminate flooring in the dining room. Uh, there is an open concept uh, with the den, master bedroom, uh, and that is blood red carpet. Holy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it you know, seems okay. 564, one acre. Out in the country, well, you got options. Okay, 518. Waynesburg Way, 569, pretty big place. And this is in, in Shelburne. Uh, hardwood flooring throughout. Right, there's your kitchen. Stainless steel appliances. Uh, and, uh, you know, hardwood flooring up the stairs as well. And then on the, the second level, uh, you've got this little area where the kids can kind of hang out and use that as like a little living space. And, uh, yeah, I mean, good-sized bedrooms in this one as well. Neighborhood's really good too. And there you have it. 27 Oldfield Court. So if you want to go a little bit further north of Shelburne, uh, you come to a little place called Hornings Mills. This is where this property is. It's eight minutes north. Uh, this is $5.99. All right, so you got your two-car garage, uh, double entranceway when you get up there. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like walking in, and that's what it looks like outside your door. <laughs> Uh, hardwood flooring, uh, bay window, uh, that would be your, your kitchen across the back of the property, uh, mudroom, which is great. I like how they did this. They actually spent the money and they have your appliances underneath the countertop with the sink, with open, this is nice, right? I think that's what most people would love to see in their own home as well, right? Very bright, uh, very spacious. And uh, that's a good size living room. And then we got down in the basement. I don't know why they have a picture of a flower, but uh, apparently, yes, we get nature out here always in the country. And there you have it. 39 Star View, and this is 679, two car garage. Uh, Inside this house, beautiful, you know, granite countertop, new kitchen, skylights, stainless steel appliances. Uh, they have the track lighting there. Uh, skylight there as well. Good size rooms, really good size rooms actually. Star, Star View is a really nice 
um, nice area actually. It uh, it's a dead end, uh, so you don't get a lot of uh, you don't you won't get any uh, through traffic. Uh, you'll just get people that live in that community. So I uh, I like it. I think there's uh, inherent value in this one as well. Uh, most people don't even know this this street exists, and uh, it's walking distance right into right into shopping. Uh, five Sylvanwood, and this is 739, and this is a beautiful looking home. Uh, two car garage, right? So you've got this slate uh, flooring when you walk in, and uh, I believe it goes right into the kitchen. It's also heated. Uh, granite countertops, pendant lights, pot lights, skylights, French doors, eating kitchen, uh, living room. I mean, it, it, this seems like it's the whole package. It looks really nice, right? Um, fireplace there in the bedroom. Uh, Nice little seating area outside there that's covered. And like I said, hardwood flooring that goes all the way throughout. So I like this place. Now, the one thing is it comes with a nice big pond out there as well. Now, I think this property goes all the way to 89. So Sylvan Woods, you actually come in off of Highway 89. And then I believe it's the corner property. So, uh, so yeah. So keep that in mind. The other thing is, is I, I've talked to the curator uh, over at the um, at the Dufferin Museum, and he said to me that I believe this property and there's another property. Um, there was stone that was excavated from there. I think that's why they have a pond there. That they used the stone to build some of the Parliament building, like. The buildings down, sorry, not Parliament buildings, uh, the park, uh, 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 City Hall in Toronto, or any of the government buildings. I wasn't too sure which ones they which ones they used them on, but I think that's where this property comes into play. So there's no historic value, but it's just something kind of neat to know. That uh, yeah, and the next one is uh, 58 French Drive. This is in Mono 789, uh, three car garage, uh, beautiful kitchen. Uh, I mean, you, you know, it's an Eden. Uh, you've got the huge pendant lights there. Uh, I think it's got granite countertops, hardwood flooring, uh, door to the backyard there. Now, there's no fencing yet. Keep that in mind. There is grass though. Uh, fireplace, open concept, hardwood flooring. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is nice. I mean, this is one of the newer builds that uh, that was done up in the area. So very nice property. I think uh, I think they'll do just fine on that. Uh, but then again, you know, if you look at the price of this, what else can you get for $789 maybe over in the other uh, subdivision over on uh, Headwaters Lane or, or Blue Heron or any of those kind of streets in there, you know, would you be able to get a, uh, a similar model but on a bigger piece of property? I think this one's priced well. I think they're going to do just fine. And that's our last one, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll be back. Keep my fingers crossed for tomorrow with another episode of Orangeville Daily Homes. Bye for now.